what's up everybody i'm saner edwards welcome back to swift coding for everyone in this lesson we're going to continue building our personality quiz in our guided project number three in the book app development with swift all right so if you just happen to land on this video and you have no clue what i'm talking about you need to go back to the previous lessons and start from scratch all right because you will be very confused at this point but if not for all of you guys who have been following along um, just go ahead and open up the Xcode projects and we're gonna go ahead and get started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the next question method right now our next question method is in a few different spots in our code but it's pointless right now it's useless there's no way for us to progress through uh, the actual app all right so we're, we need to add some content to that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reset some values for our multiple and our ranged um, stack views all right and you'll see why here in just a little bit so for me my next questions method is down here at the very bottom all right and so we need to utilize the questions index and by incrementing that basically by one each time the you know the person our user hits the submit answer because we have three questions right and um, once they hit the submit answer that should trigger the next question so we need to utilize the question index that we created a few videos ago and we need to compare that to the amount of questions we have and if it's less than the amount of questions then it'll progress through uh, to the next question or go to the next question and then once it's done our result screen will pop up all right so let's go ahead and, and add all of that uh, logic into our app into our code so let's do this so we're going to say question index plus equal one all right and then we're going to say if the question index is less than questions dot count do a curly brace hit enter and then we're going to say we wanted to update the ui and remember when we update the ui it's up here it's gonna do all of this, all right? And then if it's the single views or the single answers turn in the stack, you know, this case will run. So it's gonna update the single stack um, using the current answers and all that stuff. It's gonna update the navigation title, the question label, question, the text, the progress view. All right, so we added all this code. So it's gonna do all of this and update UI. All right, so we wanna update the UI. But if not, if we're at the end, so we're going to say else or if we're at the end of it and the question index is greater than the questions dot count what we want to do we want to show the result screen so we need to perform a segue so we need to say perform segue with identifier this is the one we want for the string you know what i don't know if we created a, a segue or an identifier in any of our previous videos so i'm going to check on my main dot storyboard to see so I'm on the questions VC and right here, there's this blue arrow from our questions VC to the results screen. And I clicked on that and I'm already on the attributes inspector. If you're not just click on this, like this carrot looking thing or whatever. And so I don't have an identifier as you can see it's blank. So I'm going to start typing results segue. You can name whatever you want. I'm going to hit enter to confirm and with it still highlighted, I'm going to go command C to copy it, go back over to the questions VC.swift file. And with the string highlighted, I'm going to hold shift and hit it, hit my quotation marks button and do command V. Tab over to nil or to sender and hit nil. All right, and I'm going to build and run it at this point. So I'm going to just go command R on my keyboard to build and run it real quick and we'll see how everything looks. All right, so um, we're going to start quiz. All right, I'll say carrots. And it was cool because the progress view was gray, all gray. Uh, now it's a third because we're on to question number two. But this is uh, different. We need to fix this. That That's a bug. Everything is already switched over to green to the you know it's on the the uh, default values so i'll say eating and sleeping and then submit answer on to the last question so we've got that in the middle 
just fine. I'll just say I love them. And I'll hit submit answer and results. Nothing right now because we haven't added that yet, but that's that's all right. So I'm going to just go back. Whatever, I'll minimize this. So that's so we need to fix some things. And if we had multiple if we had multiple questions where we you we were using the switches or even the sliders, you would tell or or, or know and see that um, those values, those default values will show up on the next screen. So uh, so everything will be green again, and then the slider value would be where we just left off, wherever you may have put yours at that's that same value will be on the next screen so we need to fix that and so we need to update the ranged or the the range stack view and then we need to update the multiple answer stack as well so right here under the multiple stack this is what we're going to do so we're going to turn the switches off so we're going to say multi switch one we'll say dot is on and we'll say false all right and then I'm gonna do two through four. So same thing, guys. Equals false. Multi switch three equals false. All right, and then four equals false. All right, and then for our range stack view, a bit the range stack view. So we need to do this. So we need to set the slider value back to the middle. So range dot sli range slider va slider dot set value. And we want this on the one that says a uh, value float animated bool. We want that one. And so we're going to say 0 0.5. And then animated will just say false. All right. So now when we build and run our app again, we should see that. Uh, first of all, that the multiple stack view, the multiple answer screen should be um, all white. Like they shouldn't, there shouldn't be any green showing uh, whatsoever. All right, so we just changed that. So I'll say fish. Good. All right, so that worked. And then these two are not true, by the way, for me. Submit answer. And then all right, that's fine. That's that's how it should be. So I'll just do that. And hit submit answer. Cool. All right, guys. So we're gonna. I want to minimize it from from there. And uh, so that's the end for this video, guys. So in the next lesson, we're gonna work on populating our result screen and getting that to be shown. All right. So make sure if there was something that wasn't clear, maybe you want to go back and rewatch this video, or maybe a previous lesson, or check out the book. The book's pretty helpful too, guys. So make sure you guys are not afraid uh, to look through the books and read the documentation. All right, this is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Happy coding to you guys, and you guys take care.